Hi, my name is Ethan Schulman. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick C Sharp tutorial on the system.speech library that comes with Windows.net. Uh, to start, you can just browse assemblies here and you can search system.speech or you can scroll down till you find it. And if you just include that in your project, that's all you need to do to get started. I'm just doing a blank C-sharp console project in Visual Studio. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to get started with text-to-speech and speech recognition in system.speech's library, because it really blew me away how easy this is. So you just include system.speech, and I'm going to start with my public main method here. And now if the first thing I'm going to show you is the speech synthesis, so we'll include the synthesis namespace and specifically we use the speech synthesizer class and you just create a new one. And then all you need to do then is enter speak and enter a string. Hello world. Hello world. And there you go, it says hello world. So that is, it's incredibly easy to get started. If you saw there, it also has speak asynchronous functions. So if you want to queue up multiple messages. Now it's just as easy to get start recognizing text. So we're gonna do the namespace speech.recognition now. And to just do general speak recognition, you want to create a new class of the speech recognition engine. And you need to do a little bit more setup for this. First, you need to set the input to the default audio device. And then you actually need to load some grammar. So the dictation grammar, I believe, loads the default uh, set language for whatever your computer is. So if you have your computer set to French, for example, it should load French here. Otherwise, I believe you can get it to load custom languages or different languages. And now all you need to do is call recengine.recognize and it will give you recognition result from that. And using that, we can output that it detected result.text to a confidence of So in the recognition result, it gives us multiple values. It gives us the text that it recognized, but it also gives us a confidence value out of 100 of how confident it was with the recognized result. So here, if we run this, we will see it runs in a loop. We will see it runs in a loop. See, it's detecting everything that I say. So I was actually wrong with the confidence value. It's from zero to one, it's a decimal value. Uh, one being maximum confidence. Yeah, so it detected some phrases wrong there. But as you can see, it's pretty good speech recognition just to get started. It's available, I believe, in all windows past Vista. So if you're using C-sharp and .NET, I suggest you try out this system.speech API.